In the opening, Clint Barton is showing his girl toxophilism on his segregated ranch while his better half readies a cookout lunch for them. Out of nowhere, Clint's girl disappears and the remainder of Clint's family crumbles, alongside half of all life across the universe, the consequence of Thanos snapping his fingers subsequent to procuring every one of the six limitlessness stones. Cloud and Tony Distinct are abandoned in space following their loss by Thanos on Titan, yet are gotten back to Earth via him Danvers and rejoined with Natasha Romanoff, Bruce Standard, Steve Rogers, Rocket, Thor, and James Rhodes. The group figures out how to take the Endlessness Stones back from Thanos and use them to switch his activities, yet learn after finding him that he had utilized the stones a second chance to obliterate them, forestalling their further use. He lets the leftover Justice Fighters know that he did as such to try not to involve the stones for additional detestable purposes. Rankled, Thor decapitates Thanos, saying it's what he ought to have done in Wakanda. After five years, Scott Lang escapes from the quantum domain to find that his girl Cassie is presently a young person and that Trust Van Dyne, alongside half of the populace, has vanished in the snap. Rogers has been driving despondency advising meetings for survivors actually battling with the impacts of the snap, while Romanoff is resolutely overseeing both Earth and the remainder of the universe with the assistance of Rhodes, Danvers, Okoye, Rocket, and Cloud. Lang goes to Romanoff and Rogers, and makes sense of that while five years had passed for them, just five hours had passed for him in the quantum domain and that time extends much distinctively there. The three go to Unmistakable, who is currently bringing up a youngster with pepper pots, and make sense of their hypothesis that the quantum domain can be utilized to travel once more into the past and take the endlessness stones before Thanos can gather them. Unmistakable at first oddballs their proposition with worry about taking a chance with his family and the harmony he has found yet subsequent to reflecting upon the deficiency of Peter Parker chooses to test hypothetical models that would work with Lang's quantum burrow, in the long run tracking down one that works. With unmistakable now ready the excess justice fighters set off to reassemble their group. Bruce Standard has now embraced the mass as a piece of him, and has merged his own cognizance and the mass together into one. Romanoff, subsequent to hearing reports from Rhodes of a professional killer that works with comparable strategies to Barton, passes on to track down him. Barton, consumed with despondency after the deficiency of his family, has been working under the mantle Ronan while severely slaughtering criminal cartels and posses all over the planet to attempt to work on the world that is still left. Natasha tracks down him in Japan and after some persuading, he consents to rejoin the group to attempt to bring his family back. Standard and Rocket go to the unassuming community of New Asgard, where Valkyrie and the last overcomers of Asgard have settled. They there find Thor, who has become overpowered by culpability over neglecting to kill Thanos in Wakanda. Thor has become overweight, his hair and facial hair are congested, and he invests his free energy eating low-quality food, becoming inebriated, and playing Fortnite with his companions Korg and Miek. Thor hesitantly consents to get back to the Vindicators after some persuading from Rocket and Pennant. Subsequent to testing the quantum time machine on Barton, who affirms that it works, the Vindicators are brought together with an arrangement, standard, Rogers, Lang, and Obvious set out to recover the time, Psyche, and Space Stones during the Clash of New York in 2012. Standard goes to the Sanctum Sanctorum, where he is educated by the Old One that requiring some investment stone from her course of events would forestall Stephen Peculiar's future endeavors to prevent Kaecilius from obliterating the laws of nature. In any case, when Standard tells her that Unusual surrender the Time Stone enthusiastically to Thanos, she permits Pennant to make them suggest, Bizarre had expected for a particular grouping of occasions to happen for Thanos to be crushed. Standard likewise guarantees the stone's revisitation of their legitimate courses of events to forestall any evil impacts. Lang and distinct endeavor to take the space stone after the Vindicator sees it from Loki. Lang gives Unmistakable's previous self a gentle heart failure by pulling a circuit in his counterfeit heart, while Obvious takes the folder case lodging the Tesseract when no one is looking. Their arrangement is impeded when Distinct drops the attaché after he is unintentionally hit by the mass. Loki then takes the space stone and uses it to get away from authority. Rogers prevails with regards to taking the brain stone from secret Hydra specialists, yet finds his previous self, who botches him for a hidden Loki. In the wake of overcoming past Steve, Rogers gets back together with Unmistakable and Lang, who currently should sort out one more method for getting the space stone without running out of the restricted stockpile of PIM particles that permit them to go through the quantum domain. Lang gets back to the present with the Psyche Stone while Rogers and Obvious devise an arrangement to take the space stone from a US Armed Force establishment during the 1970s, while likewise taking further vials of PIM particles to make the excursion back home. While there, 
Rogers cites Peggy Carter and Obvious has a significant discussion with his dad Howard. Rocket and Thor travel to Asgard to recover the Truth Stone before Malekith utilizes it against the Nine Domains. While in Asgard, Thor is reminded that his mom, Frigga, would pass on soon and gets an opportunity experience with her while Rocket takes the Aether, the disintegrated variant of the Truth Stone, from Jane and Courage. The two revisitation of Earth after Frigga directs Thor and he recovers his Malatmjolnir, thrilled to find that he is as yet deserving of it. Cloud and Rhodes travel to Morag to take the Power Stone before Peter Plume does. As Rhodes gets back to the present with the Power Stone, Cloud breakdowns and stays on Morag. With two consciousnesses working on Cloud's frameworks, Thanos and Darkthroat find the presence of future Cloud and go to hijack her. Cloud acknowledges what has occurred and attempts to caution the others, however is past the point of no return. Thanos filters her recollections and finds the Justice Fighter's arrangement, and sends the more steadfast past Cloud back to the present as a government operative. Barton and Romanoff travel to Vormir to recover the Spirit Stone, however are clashed when Red Skull, a tendon of the stone, illuminates them that it must be recovered by forfeiting somebody they love. The two battle about which will make the penance, with Romanoff eventually accepting any consequence, while an upset Barton gets back to Earth with the Spirit Stone. After everybody has gotten back to the present on the planet, Distinct, Rocket, and Pennant set off on a mission to create a glove to use the stones, one built from the equivalent nanotech of Unmistakable's most recent Iron Man suit. Pennant volunteers himself to use the glove and bring back everybody that vanished in Thanos' snap, thinking that he can endure both the gamma radiation and the gigantic aggravation and injury welcomed on by utilizing the stones. He succeeds, however they are very quickly gone after by Thanos, who has been brought to Earth by the Faker Cloud, obliterating the quantum entry simultaneously. Thanos lessens the Vindicator's base camp to rubble, separating the group and making the glove fall into Barton's insurance. The previous Cloud is killed by her future self as she endeavors to take the Boundlessness Stones from Barton, while Rogers, Thor, and Distinct face Thanos, who concludes he will rather utilize the Limitlessness Stones to annihilate the universe and make one in his vision. The three battle Thanos one-on-one, -on -one, with Rogers affirming Thor's hypothesis that he deserve using Mjolnir, yet are each outmaneuvered by Thanos. Not long after Thanos' military grounds on the planet, T'Challa shows up before Rogers, alongside the Justice fighters in general and different partners restored by Flag, prior to sending off an attack on Thanos and his military. After an extended fight during which Obvious is brought together with Parker and Plume is brought together with past Gamora, Thanos grapples with various Vindicators for the Boundlessness Stones. Following the fight, the Vindicators hold a memorial service for Distinct, whose imprint I Ben reactor is drifted out on the lake close to his home. Barton and Wanda Maximoff take comfort in the way that Romanoff and Vision, who didn't return in the snap, would be pleased with their triumph over Thanos. Thor makes Valkyrie the sovereign of Asgard and joins the gatekeepers of the system to track down his actual reason, liberated from the weight of eminence and administration without precedent for his life. Barton gets back to his family and Parker gets back to school, where he is brought together with his closest companion Ned. In the meantime, Rogers is entrusted to go into the past to return the stones and Thor sledge to their unique courses of events, yet chooses not to get back to the present and to rather carry on with the remainder of his life in the past with Carter. He returns before Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes as an elderly person, and passes his safeguard and the mantle of Chief America onto Wilson.